Hello, I'm back. Hello and welcome to my workshop. I'm really glad to be back after a very extended uh, period away uh, in China. Uh, actually, we have um, expanded our operation uh, in China to produce the um, CNC machines and also the wood lathes. What's more important is we have greatly expanded our operation with lasers. Uh, in about two weeks time I will take delivery of my personal laser which is a 6090. Um, I won't talk too much about it now other than uh, it has been designed and manufactured on the same lines then uh, or the same grade as the 6012s uh, or indeed any of our CNC routers. So it's a very highly specced uh, and the best components have been put in it. So more about that in about two weeks. Um, also, um, I'm expanding my channel uh, into lasers and also into Fusion 360, uh, which also has CAM uh, programs built into it or CAM ability. And that you can download absolutely free from the Autodesk website. Providing that is, uh, you must um, register um, your company, your business, or whether you're a private person, um, and whether you're a, 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 a teacher or tutor in any form. Uh, it's absolutely free. It's free for businesses up until uh, a profit, I think, a uh, earning profit of $100,000 a year, which, you know, caters for the vast majority of the uh, people who are interested. So, have a look on their website. So, today we're going to do a wood turning. It's a wood turning with a difference. Actually, what I'm doing, because I've had numerous uh, people write into me and say that, you know, sort of big blocks of wood um, are difficult to come by, suitable for turning, uh, in your region, wherever you live. Now, you know, in arid regions, I suppose, it is difficult for uh, trees to grow. Um, of course, we don't have that problem in Australia, really. Um, so, what I've decided to do is I've got uh, quite a bit of offcuts of ply, fairly decent ply, and um, I've got some offcuts of some fairly decent wood as well, planking. And I'm going to laminate up a block of approximately 300 by 300 by mm, about 150 deep. I'll laminate that up. Um, in some sort of pattern and we will uh, what I intend to do is use my CNC machine to, to deck it flat um, and I want to put this then on as well and glue that on uh, because I want this to be the top rim and I want it to be a very dark contrasting color from this and then I'll um, cut the corners off, make it semi-round. That just saves a lot of turning on the, on the lathe and a lot of air cutting. It just makes life a lot easier. I've got a small bandsaw that'll do that really well. And um, I think it'll turn up to be a very interesting bowl. So, bear with me. Uh, this video is probably be about uh, 
about 30 minutes long so uh, grab a cuppa and um, I hope I can entertain you okay this next shot uh, I'm trimming up to size all the uh, offcuts that I've got uh, lying around the place of uh, ply I'm just setting up a, a stop block there on my sled um, so I can just cut all the pieces off to size and um, a sled and a stop block makes the job very much easier. So now we come to the, um, I suppose the laying up or the laminating process. Um, I just normally use a couple of uh, pipe clamps uh, and whatever I've got available uh, around they're good enough to do this type of job and uh, it's just a matter of um, laying up all the different pieces in some sort of pattern you notice that I've jumped through now and I've got the um, I got a nice piece of oak actually it's a piece of that planking that I've used several times uh, for different jobs um, it's a reclaimed piece of um, planking okay so now I'm setting up um, to clamp down on my um, CNC machine to deck the top off nice and square uh, now I'm actually running the PT6012 by hand as you just saw I'm running it um, directly from the um, the pendant uh, it does a pretty reasonable job so what I'm actually showing you is uh, you don't necessarily have to write a program uh, to operate this machine now you can actually do a lot of cutting processes um, using the pendant Now that is nearly, I, I mean that was a really quick rough uh, job for the CNC router. Uh, it was done by hand, as you can see, hand control. And look at the depth, look how much you can get underneath that gantry. Now there's 30, ooh crumbs, what's this, 32? So 32 millimeter of waste sheet here. And this is like 150 mil and you can get that on the, the table and you can deck it flat um, of course by hand you know you'll never get it as perfect as uh, if I'd have wrote um, a g-code in AtCam or even Mark 3 but it's a good enough job and it's a pretty you'll agree up not a bad job at all done by hand you so you don't have to write there's no absolute need to write uh, a GCO program you can operate this machine directly off the pendant so in this next shot what I'm doing is scribing a, a circle so I can um, cut this on the bandsaw and what I actually discovered was that it didn't actually fit in my bandsaw it was about five millimeter about a quarter of an inch too big so uh, you'll see in a minute how I managed to um, uh, reduce its size a bit um, but the this piece of um, jarra this is an Australian hardwood uh, beautiful wood um, that cuts up pretty well on the uh, the bandsaw very very hard wood So, and this is the remedy I came up with to uh, just knock the corners off. It saves a lot of work 
just removing the corners um, when you come to you know turn it up on the lathe and what I've also uh, decided to do is um, I've decided to make two videos uh, actually making this uh, because it was just going to be too long and um, I don't want anybody getting bored so um, I hope you tune in for the next video which is going to be solely turning uh, this on uh, the lathe so I hope you've enjoyed this first uh, video and um, please have a look at my uh, channel uh, subscribe and um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today so um, it's bye from me for now bye